Are you ready? Can crush us. It don't really get no better than this. The podcast that you're looking for. If you're really heavy in the wrestling, hosted by the mark. Energy that's so amazing. Gotta keep it entertaining. Rep the can crush a nation. Yeah, you know what's going down in the ring. Lights out when you hit a ding ding. Knock them out like boom, bada bing. Hold it down, you can crown me the king. Gotta shout out to the Miz and Duke the dumpster. We choke slamming everybody, power driving. Hit them with a face buster. Yeah, yeah, this the show you need an and it ain't no need for waiting Mark, hold it down for the can crush a nation All about wrestling and keep it entertaining Can Crushers Wrestling Podcast Time to break them, let's go Yeah, 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 yeah Can Crushers Yeah, 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 yeah Can Crushers, let's go Hi everyone, this is Ringside Rain And you're listening to Can Crushers Podcast and now, here is your host, Mark, the Mark, Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Can Crushers Wrestling Podcast. It is the High Ground Pro Wrestling Spotlight Show. This coming Saturday, June 10th, at the Falcon's Nest in Mayfield, Pennsylvania, we are set for Summer Showcase. Oh my God, if you don't have your tickets, make sure you get there, get them at the door, 20 bucks at the door, general admission across the board, sit wherever you want to, high five me, hang out with the wrestlers at intermission, and just have a great time. A huge match announcement getting set to come, and we're going to have a special guest this month giving us these matches. It is not going to be Nathaniel Cunningham. So maybe he sends his partner, Donnie Bambino. No, I'm going to ruin it right now. It's definitely not Donnie. So we have a special guest coming on the show to do the match announcements for Summer Showcase, June 10th. That's this coming Saturday, folks, at the Falcon's Nest in Mayfield, Pennsylvania. $20 tickets. Get them at the door. Get them while they're hot. It's a Summer Showcase, so you know, you know this event is going to tear down the house and it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Maybe we can get that song played. I'm I'm going to I'm going to speak it into fruition. Hot 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 is going to play this coming Saturday at the Falcon's Nest. We're going to get people up and dancing and do a little uh dancing. God, I am going to get fired again because I'm just going to just start planning everything for High Ground Professional Wrestling Summer Showcase June 10th. Get there. But before we get into the match announcements, you know I have to pay the bills. So, I will tell you, head over to Collar and Elbow. They have just released some new shirts. I'm not going to ruin it for you. Head over to CollarAndElbow.com and buy shirts. You're going to love these new shirts that they released. You know how I always talk about wearing Collar and Elbow. It's actually a cold day when I'm recording this right now. So, I have my hoodie on. Yeah, Cold day in June. What the heck is going on here in in Pennsylvania? Snow's right around the corner. I'm not speaking that into fruition. But high high ground. Collar and elbow, you have hats, hoodies, tees, all the cool stuff that Al Snow and his hooligans make down at Collar and Elbow. Again, I've had shirts for years now. They don't stretch. They go back after you get done, you know, doing them in the laundry. They're awesome. I have my Macho Man inspired one. It has Al Snow and Head on it. I have my Dusty Rose one. I have a lot of them, and I I love them. They are uh, super awesome, comfortable shirts. So make sure you go and buy some and check out the new releases. Yeah, and I'm not talking about the Monday Night War ones that are inspired. There's new, new release ones out there. So make sure you check them out. And then when you go to purchase, we have a promo code. It's Can Crushers. All one word, smash together. Capital C and Can, capital C and Crushers. You'll save 10% off of your order. So that's really cool. You know, Al Snow and Hooligans down at Collar and Elbow. Give that to us to pass along to the listeners here, the high ground fans. Save money. That's the best thing you can do when you buy some sweet wrestling shirts. All right? Guys, I know you're listening to your your favorite, you know, outlet right now. We're also available on Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Boxcast, Apple Podcast. If you're listening to us on Facebook, we're on Facebook. So wherever you are, you can find 
Can Crushers Wrestling Podcast, and that's what's really cool. We're on the go. We're on your phone. We're at your, you know, your laptop, your desktop, or wherever. We're out there. We're the ones that's going to bring you interviews from high ground. You're going to hear some today. You're going to hear some last week. We also have legends from across the board. We talked to Al Snow himself. We talked to Manny Fernandez, Baby Doll. Britt Baker has been on our show. Even, even David Arquette has been on our show. So make sure you listen. It's really cool. You don't know who's ever going to pop up and when they're going to be on a weekend show or the spotlights. The spotlights, you know, because there's their picture. Bing, bang, boom. They're on. So, yeah, give us a listen. Give us a follow on all our social medias. It's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's really easy to follow us because it's at CanCrusher69. You can find us. Boom. Or type in Can Crushers Wrestling Podcast. We're there. We have a couple pages across the board. Go and like us. And this weekend, we are doing an Ask Can Crusher. So if you ever had wrestling questions and you want them to be answered, this is one of our favorite weekend shows that we do. Make sure you send in your question. And you can send it in by any of the DMs on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Or you can also email us at cancrusher69 at gmail.com. We'll answer the questions on air, which is really cool. We'll give you a shout out as well if you put your name on the on the question. And we'll give you our thoughts. We love interacting with the fans that way. So, yeah, jump on board. Can Crushers is really cool. We, we love doing this for you. We love talking to legends, to rising stars, to rookies in the business because each and every wrestler has their own story. And that's what we like to hear, the story behind the wrestler. So, all right, I rambled enough. My guest is now called. I have her on hold, and she is coming to release the match card for this coming Saturday, Summer Showcase, June 10th, High Ground Professional Wrestling at the Falcon's Nest. So we'll send it out to Al real quick. We'll be back, and then my guest... We'll be here. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. The wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. Collar and Elbow is the brand. Passion and love for wrestling is the drive. I am Al Snow, and this is Collar and Elbow, the wrestling brand. Hey, this is the dude. If you don't listen to Can Crushers, I think you got into some of my gummies. Oh. And welcome back to Can Crushers, guys. I told you I'm super excited to have a different guest on from High Ground Professional Wrestling to talk about the preview, and it's none other than my favorite, the wave maker, Shelby Waters. Shelby, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Awesome, awesome. It's really cool to have you on to talk about the preview show and everything that's coming up for Summer Showcase here on June 10th. Then, you know, they are my best friends too, the bad fellas. But it's nice to have you come back because, you know, best I friends think. and favorites are completely different. <laughs> and I thought they were supposed to be the good fellas. Right? Yeah. I, <laughs> I said that. Shut up. I hate your face right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> they are my good fellows. So we have a stacked card once again for Summer Showcase. And let's dive right into it as. We have Sarge taking on Roadblock. Sarge's second match. He looked good, but he came up with a loss last time. What do you think? I think Sarge is going to take the win. You got to love him. Right? It, it's America. It's I, I'm on board with you there with Sarge. You know, he had that first match, and, you know, a couple things maybe didn't go his way, this, that, and the other, but super excited for a first match. And nerves, right? That that can always come in and bite you in the rear. Oh, yeah. No, nothing can prepare you for your first match. The nerves, the adrenaline. So, 
All right, so we're both taking Sarge, so that's good. Just just because, listen, the 4th of July is right around the corner, celebrating America as we record. Memorial it's Day, it's yeah. Memorial Day weekend, so we just got the old red, white, and blue feels going on right now. Next match we have up is Tyrant against Dante Dio and Antonio Marco. Shelby, who do you got? I honestly, I hate to say it because, you know, I love Antonio Marcos, but I think Tyrant's going to squash them. They did it once with Antonio. They're probably going to do it again. He, he, uh, apparently, we're reading the same note cards that I don't carry around <laughs> during the show. <laughs> but yeah, Tyrant, man, they are on a roll, just crushing everybody in their path. I don't know who can stop them in high ground professional wrestling. Uh, they're just, they're brutal, right? They are. They're like, I don't want to mess with them. They're terrifying. Try being in the ring when you announce for them, and they scare me. Like, I kind of, as soon as they come out and they're doing the loop around, I'm out of that ring because <laughs> Gray Wolf is just that scary. I don't blame you. Next match we have up, and it's kind of Fletcher Young doing Fletcher Young type of things. He's making the dude jump through more hoops to get to him. So he's throwing Seymour Green at the dude. I don't know how Fletcher Young got into management to talk about this, to not get have a match. But Shelby, Fletcher Young is just a bad human being. He is. I honestly cannot stand him. And he is just picking on the dude. He's just he's a big bully. He really is. Like, he, he throws the mic at me. He doesn't hand it back to me. He drops it. He thinks he's better than He does think he's better than everybody else, and that's why I won't give him his due diligence at ring announcing. I know that's petty on my end, but (laughs) until he treats everybody at high ground with professionalism, nobody should respect him. Exactly. So I'm taking the dude. I'm taking the dude in this one because the dude is just, he wants Fletcher. You know, he got evicted. He got thrown out. And, you know, the poor dude just living under a bridge by a van and stuff. You know, it's just the sympathetic vote, right? You're you're not wrong on that one. And I love the dude, but we don't really know much about Seymour. So I think I'm going to go with Seymour. Ooh, big switch there. It might be a surprise. You never know. Yeah, we don't know a lot about Seymour, but I I just I feel the dude just going to be ready to go. Uh, another match I'm really super excited. Volos the Freak against Vince Bono. Uh, we saw the return of Vince Bono uh, to start the show off last month, and we saw the Freak making his high ground professional wrestling debut. And the Freak's just there to have fun. So he's ready to rumble. He's ready to fight. Who do you got, Shelby? I'm going to have to go with Volos on this one. Yeah, it, it, just because he he's a clown. Yeah, why not? You gotta have a little fun. Okay, I'm actually gonna go the other way though. I love him, I do, but I'm gonna go the other way because Vince has his man outside the corner. I I think they're dastardly people. I I really don't think they're good people either, and I think Volos maybe having too much fun gets distracted. You got a good point there. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see that one. Well, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to put a pin in that one and find out. And Shelby, this is where I'm going to pause because we kind of we we have a lot going on in these next couple matches, and it's a la. You're not going to be on the show. Sadly, I will not be. But I would. I'll still be there, but I won't be wrestling. And it is due to one person uh, that you're off of the show. Can you can you tell us what happened and you know why you can't be on the show? Well, you could say it's one person, but I'll blame both of them because I can't stand them. But at the last show, Sam Thompson super kicked me in the head as I was checking on my teammate. So that gave me a pretty serious concussion. So I'm out for a couple weeks. I still have about another month I'm out for. 
So, yeah, that that's not right. It was after the bell as well. It was essentially when you were hogtied, right? Yeah, like I, I was just checking on my teammate, and they decided to be the type of people they are and just continue with the match even though it was over. So that kind of takes that bull rope match out and pushes it down, you know, in the near future. Um, I'm, I'm sure of that. So Sam being the, the dirty dog that he is, um, management knows that he has repercussions. He, he's got to face somebody. He, he doesn't get the night off because you're suffering. So it'll be Samuel Thompson against... Trevor Terry, one of the youngest, fastest rising stars in in independent professional wrestling, uh, in high ground. So this is going to be this is going to be a work for Sam. He's going to have a tough job with this youngster. He really is, and honestly, Trevor is one of the big faces of high ground. He is going to give Sam a run for his money, and I am one hundred percent going with Trevor Terry on this one. I will go the other way, though, because of the <laughs> veteranship. I know, Shelby, and I knew this was going to break uh, your heart when we got this when we got this phone call and I got the card uh, and I knew it was going to be you talking with me. I just think the veteranship that Sam has in the ring. And listen, uh, Trevor, he, he's a stand-up guy. He's going to wrestle a good match. He's going to wrestle a clean match, as we say across the board on podcasts. Samwell's not that guy, and I, I'm worried that maybe Trevor will get screwed, essentially. That's the best way of putting it, that Samwell will do something dirty, and Trevor, my heart is going with Trevor, but my head, because I lost last month to Nathaniel, my head is running this month's show, and, and I have to say Samwell, I really do. I like a good underdog story, so 100% Trevor Terry. I love underdog. I, I'm a huge fan of the underdog cartoon as well. <laughs> so that means with you being off, there's another member that has nothing to do, too, of the prima donna princess and princesses, um, Valerie Vermin. Val, no idea what's going on while well, management says... <laughs> You're not getting a day off for injuring one of our stars as well. So Val yeah. is facing a mystery opponent. Yes, I'm very thankful to High Ground because they they let me pick the mystery opponent. So I have a very, very good surprise. And let's just say that I cannot wait to see this match. I'm super. It, we're, we're not going to get any teasers, right? I can't, you know, get another tattoo of you or anything to kind of get a little <laughs> teaser nothing nothing on this one it's a gonna be a surprise for everybody because this is this is your vendetta essentially against val yep <laughs> so you're going to bring it and listen because i love you when we spread the love and everything this one i have to go with your mystery opponent i really do because val has no clue who the mystery opponent is. Allah, like the dude, he could do some research on Seymour Green to find out who it is. You're only announcing this mystery opponent that night. So there's no studying. Nothing. Mm -mm. So I it's imagine gonna you're taking the mystery opponent then too, right? Oh, of course. Right. I know they're going to. Super excited about that match. Then we have the good fellas, the bad fellas, the fellas. Taking on nice and smooth in tag team action. I don't know anything about nice and smooth, and I don't need to know anything about nice and smooth because when I have Donnie Bambino as my heavy in my corner, always, you know, defending can crushers and myself, and Nathaniel's there as well, doing his Nathaniel stuff, I, I can't go against the bad fellas. For me, it's definitely nice and smooth because I've watched them kind of grow so far in their career because they're both fairly new and they're really good wrestlers and I think the bad fellows are going to have a tough match. Wow. Even after what we saw in the street fight last month, you know, you, you know the bad fellows will bring everything they got. You're you're just going to stay nice and smooth. Well, yeah. 
plus I don't like the bad fellas. They're a little rude. They always make fun of like all of the fans at high ground and that's my hometown. So I just don't like them. Maybe I have a little bad fellow in me. I, I don't know because I, I enjoy that every once in a while. I, maybe I, I'm going to be a heel announcer pretty soon. I don't know. I don't know. Some people have said I'm going to have a faction pretty soon. I don't know if you've listened to that on the podcast, but we'll see. <laughs> Then we get to our main event, and our main event is unbelievable. This guy wakes up at 4.50 a.m., he eats supper at 4.50 p.m., and somebody at high ground is going to get a 4.50. Mr. J. Flyer, unbelievable, is taking on essentially the man, the myth, the legend himself, Rex Taylor. Oh my God, this match for the main event, this this should have pomp and circumstances all around it, Shelby. This, I'm really excited for this match. And, and truthfully, I, I can't even pick, I because they're both really good wrestlers and very worthy of a main event. How about we do this then? Since there's seven matches that we've already picked, we both enjoy this match because we could tie and I don't want any ties because it's, this would be the eighth match on the card. We will just, we'll both sit back and I'm sure management will yell at me for not picking this match because that's kind of in my contract. But nonetheless, we're just going to say we're going to enjoy this match because Rex, J main eventing high ground summer showcase. This is a showcase within itself. It really is. Shelby, this has been great having you here on the show. Did I miss anything that you want to announce, you want to bring up to your fans to uh, to talk about this card? I don't, I don't believe so, but I do want to give a thank you to all of the fans of High Ground and especially the fans of myself because I love going to High Ground and just talking to everybody because everyone's so nice there and the fans are great. It's always a great house. So just thank you guys for coming. They really are. I echo everything Shelby said. You guys, uh, as I slid into being the ring announcer, have made it really cool. You know, I have the little dudes coming up, you know, asking me for an autograph, giving high fives, saying they like me and stuff like that. That's just the interaction. It's awesome. And I'm a ring announcer. So thank you for making part of me part of the High Ground family as well, guys. This is really cool. Of course. We're, we are so happy to have you. All right, Shelby, it's been great having you on for the preview show. We'll have you on again, I'm sure. And uh, keep your head up. You're only a few weeks away. And uh, Samuel and Val, remember, she's only a few weeks away. Don't worry, my head will be up and smiling during that match. So that sounds like an amazing card for this weekend summer showcase. But we have some more. Little promos coming here on Can Crusher, so let's send it over to those. You never know who's going to pop up. They called in. They want to be on Can Crushers. I open the door. Here they come. And welcome back. I'm now super excited to bring on the show Cal Christopher the Sarge. Sarge, how are you doing? Hey, doing pretty good. Thanks for having me. No problem. So you had your debut match last month against the Freak Volos. How did that feel stepping into the ring? And let's talk about high ground a little bit. Uh, you know, those fans really got behind you. Yeah, you know, uh, the fans are great. I uh, appreciate every single one of them. It was amazing. Just stepping out through that curtain, being able to get into those ropes for the first time after, you know, all the training I've gone through and going up against the Freak, <clears throat> you know, I was in the military. I've worked with clowns before, so it wasn't a big deal to me, but it was, it was great to uh, have my debut with him, have a lot of respect for him. He's uh, he's put in the time himself. So it was an honor to have that first match. And uh, I think we put on a good one. Uh, I'm proud of it for my, for my first time. Yeah. He came up on the wrong end though. And now this month you're going to be taking on roadblock, you know, kind of a, a bigger opponent even than Valos the freak. What's uh what's your you know thought process there? Well, uh, like I said, I, I I didn't get the W on that one. Uh, tried hard, 
didn't work out. But if I uh, crawled into bed and cried every time I didn't succeed, I just couldn't go on. So all you got to do is you get back, you train, you look at what you did right, you look at what you did wrong, accentuate your strengths, work on your weaknesses. And that's what I'm planning on doing with Roadblock. You know, it's a mission. That's what I have. And he's in my way of completing my mission of getting a win. I got nothing against him. I got no animosity with anybody yet. But if you're in my way and I've got an objective to complete, I'm plowing through you. And what else do we expect from the Sarge come June 10th at Summer Showcase High Ground Professional Wrestling? You're going to get one heck of a show. Uh, It's going to be a great match. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to give it all I got. And hopefully I'm going to be coming out of there with a win. So to all the fans that supported me last time, I thank them so much. I appreciate that. That's great encouragement for, you know, a little war horse like me. But this war horse has got some more gallop to him. So we're going to get in there. I'm going to re- get my training back up, analyze what's going on, and I'm just going to take the fight to him. It's wartime. It sounds like the Sarge is ready to crash through these barriers and this roadblock. You get the pun? It's in front of him this coming Saturday. It's wartime. Let's see who our next guest is. I am now joined by the freak Valos. Valos, welcome to Can Crushers. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. No problem. No problem. So last month you had your high ground pro wrestling debut and you had a a heck of a match against the Sarge. You pulled off the victory. How, How was that first match coming to high ground? I enjoy myself highly, which is the whole reason why I'm there, high ground. It's for me it's not about uh, wins or losses, it's just about having a good time. It really is. It really is. I talked to you backstage a little bit and you wanted to make sure you brought that up and I'm glad we're getting to say that today on the podcast. So it is about having a good time. And uh we talked a little bit prior to this promo. <sighs> I'm a gnat. I told you that it is wrestling and it is about having a good time to me that's the reason why i'm there so this coming saturday though you have a another big opponent it's actually an alliance the bodacious alliance and it is vince bono well in truth it's not that big of an opponent he's actually a little bit smaller than i am to be honest but he's been doing this vince has been in the business since the mid 90s his manager, Ray, he's been in the business since the, you know, the early 90s, and they've got a lot of experience that I don't have. So I'm really looking forward to doing this. I am hoping to crush them, obviously, but I've never had to deal with a manager before, so I know that adds a layer that I'm not sure if I'm 100% ready for, but that's the reason why I'm there. I'm going to enjoy myself, I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to hopefully put on a good show. Hopefully I'm going to win. The Bodacious Alliance uh, champions across the board have belts everywhere, right? So I've been told, yes. Much more than I was expecting, to be honest with you. I was a little surprised that they're putting me with them. But hopefully I prove that I can go toe-to-toe with them. And I think I can. I will take them down. What they might not know about me is I actually have three belts of my own. One work and two dress. Wow. Follows, ready for the Bodacious Alliance. I believe I am. 30 years in the business, bro, does not scare the freak Follows. Come out this Saturday at Summer Showcase. You're going to see him taking on essentially the Bodacious Alliance, but Vince Bono will be in the ring. We'll see. We'll see. One more guest on the line, and it will not be a Can Crushers Wrestling podcast spotlight about high ground professional wrestling without these two. Here they come. And I'm now joined by the Bad Fellows, the Big Don, and Nathaniel. Guys, welcome back on Can Crushers. A big match coming up this coming Saturday against Nice and Smooth. Yeah, nice and Smooth. A couple of jerks, okay? I don't like them one bit, okay? Me and Nate, we don't like them at all. I can tell you that. You know what? Nice and Smooth, we face you once. And the difference is this time we're going to pummel your heads into the mat on June 10th. You're damn right. Because you're coming into our home. 
You're coming into our home. I'm not doing. I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that snaky crap. Okay, you guys paid off that rep the last time we faced each other, and I know you did because he didn't know how to do his job. One hundred percent. The bad fellas coming to summer showcase. One hundred percent. They're not taking any snaky crap from nice and smooth, short and sweet from the bad fellas. They get their point across. Not many words needed. All their actions are displayed in the ring. Guys, what an amazing show this was. Talking with a few wrestlers from High Ground Professional Wrestling and and having Shelby Waters come on the show to release the official lineup. Wow. I, I, any of these matches, any of these matches, Rex against Jay in the main event, awesome. Val, mystery opponent, mystery opponent has my head going crazy. This is unbelievable. If you don't have your tickets yet, Make sure you get them at the door at Falcon's Nest. Guys, you know, be there. High Ground Professional Wrestling Summer Showcase is going to be hot, hot, hot. I'm super excited. Man, High Ground Professional Wrestling is where it's at. All right, guys, thanks for listening to this preview show for Summer Showcase, and we'll see you Saturday. Remember, just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called a garbage can. Not a garbage cannot. Make sure you tell your loved ones you love them, because you never know. <laughs>